It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. With the horse and the skeleton and me. <laughs> Christmas is craft work with Florian and Ralph. Ralph, would you like me to give you a Christmas present? Oh yes, please. Tell me what it is. <laughs> it's a new dance. Hit it! That big bad booty on the floor and you wanna it. Always so juicy, I know what it does to me when I see that big bang shaking his way in the way that it can't even win. Well, just look at your brain. That big bang booty. Booty. I call it, I call it craft work. <laughs> Florian. Yes? Do you know? <laughs> Sorry. Let me try it again. Ask me my name. Florian. Yes? Do you know any rousing Christmas carols? Yes. Here's one of my favorites. We wish you a Christmas. We wish you a Christmas. We wish you a Christmas. And a new year. <laughs> What about merry and happy? Yes, these are simply artificial subjective constructs of the mind without any substantial meaning. <laughs> so, Florian, the holidays are almost upon us. Yeah, perhaps Friedrich the Gimp should say a few words about the holidays. I do not care for the holidays. <laughs> Why not? Because St. Nicholas never brings me what I want. And what is that? A robotic penis on wheels that plays dark cabaret music when I'm sexually aroused and also functions as an automobile. Well, if it's any consolation, I got you a tie. We of Kraftwerk want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Ho. I think you mean ho ho ho. No, I mean you are a prostitute for the capitalistic, corporate-sponsored world. <laughs> Never before has anyone said anything so kind to me. I love you, Ralph. I love you, Florian. <laughs> hey, what am I, chop schnitzel? <laughs> oh, okay, come here. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to give you my choice for the most fascinating person of the year. All right. Really, Craig? Yeah! <laughs> my choice is the jolly red fat man up north, you know, uh, the mayor of Toronto. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that. Let's see that again. Ho, ho, crack. <laughs> Only five more days until Christmas. There's a poem for that. Twas five nights before Christmas, so I hollowed out a gourd and stuffed it with crack for Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'm talking about Christmas Carol. Now, we take it for granted now, but a Christmas Carol popularised a lot of phrases, uh, Christmas phrases like Merry Christmas, that's from a Christmas yeah, Carol, yeah. Uh, Scrooge, Bah Humbug, Diam. <laughs> Is that, is that one? Yeah. That, that's one too, yeah, that's uh, Victorian Christmases that used to go, Damn! Yeah, all right. Damn, it's Christmas! I've never, never heard that. Yeah, 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 no, like it. it, it's, well, this thing, uh, uh, Christmas Carol, it's been adapted so many times. Uh, I love the Muppets one. That had Michael Caine as Scrooge, and at the end of it, he, well, I tell you what, you be the little boy, okay, and I'll be right. Michael Caine. Okay, all right. At the end of the Scrooge okay. movie. All right, right, all right, you ready? Yeah. Oi, little boy, what die is it? 
Why, it's Christmas Day, sir. <laughs> no, you're wrong. This is the day that I shag Miss Piggy. <laughs> Come here, Miss Piggy. I'd, I'd quite like to see that, sir. No, no, you... <laughs> There was a Disney version of A Christmas Carol, which was great, except that Scrooge is played by a duck. And at the end, Scrooge McDuck shows up at the Cratchit house with a giant cooked bird. <laughs> That's cannibalism! Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, 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 can you do the duck noise? With sure, it? sure. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> cannibalism. Then again, all bets are off when Scrooge's old partner was played by Goofy. No, oh, no, better change your ways, bitch. Wow. I'll cut you. I'll cut you if you're not careful. He'll, oh, boy. He will cut you. He will cut you, Scrooge. Mc <laughs> anyway, not all of the Christmas Carol versions are good. Some are terrible, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger version was terrible. How did that one go again, Jeff? Hey, Timmy, you wouldn't be so tiny if you did push-ups, you Yeah, idiot. yeah, there you are. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, the, if it's a famous work of literature, there has to be a porn version, oh, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there would be a triple x -mas with good old Ebenezer Screw. <laughs> and his catchphrase would be, ah, bum hug. <laughs> Christmas is coming, Mr. Screw. Ah, bum hug. <laughs> and then he'd be very surprised when Tiny Tim turned into Enormous Tim. <laughs> Enormous, throbbing Tim. <laughs> uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Will you two be hanging out together on Christmas morning? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, you ready for Christmas, dude? Yeah, yeah. This is the, the last show before Christmas week. It's Friday. There's milk for Santa. That'll be all right. When's Christmas? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. That'll be fine there until Wednesday, yeah. won't it? That'll keep. That'll yeah, keep. Milk, milk keeps. Everybody knows that. It keeps, yeah. Yeah, you can leave milk right on for a couple of weeks and then just drink it. <laughs> for legal reasons, CBS doesn't agree with me. <laughs> so I got uh, cookies for Santa. Right, right. Uh, milk for Santa. Good. And carrots for Santa. Ca carrots for Santa? Yeah, yeah. He's a vegetarian. Is that right? I don't think so. Do vegetarians get that fat? I don't know. I mean, Rob Ford does crack, and he's pretty big. Oh, I see where you're going, yeah, but he probably eats uh, meat, too. Okay. You know what? These carrots are too cold. I should throw them on the fire. Yeah, throw them in the, the fire. Yeah, all right. You ready? Yeah. All right, then. Holy crap. You like your cookies warmed up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I do. All right, then. I'll throw a cookie on the fire. Right. Like that. Oh, yeah. Is this fire hot enough, Jeff? No. Put a log on the fire. Yeah, I'll throw a log on the fire, see if I heat the yeah. fire up. Oh, I tell you what I'll do, Jeff. The fire seems to need, like, a little bit of poking. Yeah, poke the fire. So I'll poke the fire. Poke that fire. What the hell? Look what nearly happened! I nearly threw an adorable plaid dog into the fire! Luckily, I didn't. You're safe for now. Send money or the plaid dog gets it. No, I'm kidding. You can sit there and have a little drink of milk. Thanks. There you are. All right, I'll just poke the fire, shall yeah, poke I? Poke it, poke it. There you go. <laughs> yep. Works every time. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? That's warming my testicle for Christmas. Uh, the annual warming of the testicle. By yeah, way. that's what we do in our house. We gather around the testicle and sing a song for Christmas. What song do we sing, Jeff? Santa's got a bad foot. Santa's got a bad foot. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Santa's got a bad foot. He got a bad in there. <laughs> And he lost his legs in 
that's how he fits down the chimney. <laughs> Good night, everyone.